2024 Tops update is taking the entire collecting world by storm. You have people who don't even collect baseball cards, primarily that is, buying Tops update. And the reason that is, is for the checklist. Now, we're going to be answering a pretty crazy question today. And that question is, did they make the 2024 Tops Update Checklist too good? That is right. Did they make it too good? So what's going on, guys? It's Grip Rip. And before we get into the video today, let's plug up the giveaway as usual. So at 10,000 subscribers, we're giving away Hobby Packs, the newest product available at the time. All you got to do is be subscribed, like this video, turn on the post notifications for all the content on the channel. And last but certainly not least, leave a comment in the comment section of this video and countless other videos on what has been your favorite moment this baseball season. I will pick the winner once we hit the goal of 2024, which is 10,000 subscribers. So there is that. So... Let's not waste any more time and get into it. The first thing I am going to say, though, the first thing I am going to say is that I am uh, cooking up something pretty cool. So next year, I don't know exactly when next year, we're going to be renovating the channel a little bit. Now, I don't want to go into full depth because this is a very early development, very early stages of development, but... I think we're going to change up the formatting of this video. You see, you know, looking at a screen and hearing me is, is not really good enough. I, I think what we're going to do is we're going to make it like a, a podcast, in a sense, is where you actually are going to see me talking the entire time. Now, a lot has to be done before we get to that point, so we have to wait and see. But I was thinking about it, I was like, well... I think that would be pretty cool. So let me know in the comments, voice your opinions down below. Do you like this? Or do you actually want to see me in like a studio-esque kind of setup? I don't really know what it, would, what it would look like. I have visions in my head of what it could look like. Now, whether that translates to real life, that's you know to be determined. But let me know in the comments. We'll see what happens. But that's definitely a goal of mine next year to really, really renovate this channel to make it even better than what it, what it is. So... Here we go. Let's talk about the topic of the video. 2024 Tops Update, man. A lot of people are buying it, man. A lot of people are buying it. I honestly, I don't know any hobby store in my area that has any left. Um, I don't know if that's just for Skeens itself, because obviously I am from Pittsburgh, so, um, you know, Skeens hype, Skeens craze, and Jared Jones craze, and even Andrew McCutcheon, who has a base card in this checklist, but really primarily the two rookie pitchers we got in the set. Um, crazy hype, man. Super, super crazy hype. And, you know, it's aftermarket price is, is through the roof right now. And I talked about this a little bit. Someone asked me, do I think the price of this will go down when Crumb Update comes out? Absolutely, I think it will. Um, I don't know how much. Uh, will it go back to normal, like, retail, like-esque price? I, I, tough to say. Super, super tough to say. I think it will be a little higher than retail price, but um, at the end of the day, you know, Chrome Update's coming out November 13th. Everyone and their mother is going to be buying Chrome Update. If you haven't got it already, genuinely feel bad for you because you're definitely going to be paying at least a 20% upcharge on the hobby product, at least, no doubt about it. So... Who knows? We'll get there when we get there. We're only about three weeks away, I think. About three, three weeks away from tomorrow for Chrome Update. So, pretty crazy couple weeks ahead, man. Pretty crazy couple weeks ahead. We got, um, next week, we got Alan and Ginter. The week after that, Stadium Club. The week after that, Chrome Update and Holiday all in the same three-week time span. So, it's going to be pretty crazy. Um, but let's talk paper base update today, shall we, right? So, you know... I had this question asked asked to me in the comments, and I said, you know, this is actually a really good conversation topic for a video. He said, do you think they made the update checklist too good? Now, by the way, if you ever want to suggest a topic for me to do, I always read the comments. I typically 
try to respond or heart the comments, but if you ever have a topic you want me to talk about and I read it and I say, you know what, that's a great video topic, leave it down in the in the in the comments. I will gladly, if it, if it works, I'll do it, right? So um, you know, checklist. Let's look at the checklist, right? So you have obviously Skeens, Merrill, Chirio, Langford, Holiday. Um, you know, you got pretty much every single top five rookie in this year's product. Now, I know people are going to say, Grip and Rip, you're missing Ellie. Okay, listen, listen. Ellie literally debuted. I know he's a rookie. I get it. But he literally debuted. I kid you not, about a year and a half ago, and he is still getting rookie cards. If Platinum Chrome comes out next year, which, again, we don't know, but if it does, probably going to come out in May or June, and Ellie will definitely have a rookie card in there. That'll literally be around two years. I kid you not, two years after his debut in the league, which, listen, I don't really know, you know, what what's really going on with tops with their rookies because some products, you know, they will intentionally hold people back. And other products, they will try to get them out as quickly as possible. So let's go to last year, or maybe better yet, let's go to 2022. 2022 Series 2, to be exact. One of the most interesting products Tops probably could have done at the time, because you had three major rookies in Bobby Wood Jr., Julio Rodriguez, and Spencer Torkelson all getting called up on opening day, okay? But before that, O'Neill Cruz. O'Neill Cruz got called up the last week of the 2021 season and didn't get an official rookie card until Series 2. But realistically, he should have been in 2022 top Series 1. Realistically. Let's be honest here, right? But what Tops did with Series 2 2022 is those three rookies became short prints. And they were super hard to find. Series 2, at the end of the day, really struggled because realistically, all you had in 2022 Top Series 2, if I can recall correctly, Odile Cruz, Spencer Strider, and I believe, I could be wrong, Luis Hill, or Gill, I don't even know how to pronounce his last name, of the Yankees, who ironically is might going to be Rookie of the Year in the American League. So, you know, take that for what you will. I don't understand how he's a rookie, but I guess he, I think he like missed all of last year. So kind of adds up, I guess. But regardless, regardless, sometimes tops will hold players back. And other times, let's look at last year. Let's look at last year, 2023 top series two, which was widely considered the number one base product of last year. Now, if I remember correctly, at least the two big ones were Anthony Volpe, who is still a very coveted player in the hobby, and Jordan Walker, who kind of fizzled out, but again, he's only like 22 years old, like literally the same age as me. So, um, you know, he still has definitely a lot of time to develop into a good player, you know, so I wouldn't really write him off just yet. But regardless, 2023 Top Series 2 last year was widely considered as the number one product. And what's so interesting about that is those two guys I mentioned, and probably countless other guys like Yoshida, for example, Masataka Yoshida, another one, all those guys made their debut on opening day of 2023. Now let's fast forward to this year, 2024. Of course, the biggest rookies, aside from Skeens, obviously, um, you got Merrill, Lankford, Chirio, and Holiday, all except Holiday, those other three guys I mentioned, were all called up on opening day. Okay. But for whatever reason, they went back to the 2022 philosophy on making those guys short prints in Series 2 and then putting their official base card in update. So let me get this straight, Tops. Let me get this straight real quick. So... If we're flip-flopping every other year, because you see a little pattern there, is next year 
Series 2 going to be the better product? Because let's look at it. Let's look at 2023, for example. Update last year was awful. I don't care what anybody says. Last year, the base rookies, not rookie debuts, base rookies were really not there. I don't even remember. Bobby Miller, I think, was one of them. And that might have been actually the best one, if I can recall, which I think I'm missing somebody, but I can't come to, to mind who it is at the time. But regardless, last year's update sucked. This year, it's the best product of 2024 for now until it's, you know, Big Brother, for instance, for example, Chrome Update comes out in three weeks, right? So here's how they decide this. And if you guys didn't know this, I'm going to let you in on a little bit of a secret, okay? Here is how they decide what rookies to put in what products. It's actually not even tops. It's actually the MLB Players Association. I don't know if you guys knew that or not, but that is exactly what happens. The Players Association tells tops and fanatics when to put players in products. I don't know why. It's honestly really, really silly, but that's just how life goes. They they tell tops what to do. Although tops should be telling tops what to do. It's the MLBPA telling Tops and Fanatics what to do. So next year, hypothetically, if we're flip-flopping every other year, which seems to be the pattern of Fanatics, because as you guys know, Fanatics took over in 2022. So we're going every other year now, and next year, 2025, crazy to believe, 22, 23, 24, 25, will mathematically, not really though, but mathematically it's only three years but it's actually technically four 22 23 24 and 25 so we're gonna have year four next year of the fanatics tops partnership and if they're gonna go based off of trends next year series two is gonna be product of the year i don't even gotta tell you or i don't even know who's gonna get called up next year on opening day honestly i will tell you this I will tell you this right now. There are probably, I mean, I've been scouting out a little bit just to get a feel for what next year is going to look like for tops. I mean, Series 1, clearly, obviously, next year, the two selling points of Series 1 next year are James Wood and Dylan Cruz. Clearly and obviously, those are the two selling points next year. So the Nationals are going to definitely be, you know, the team that everyone's going to be buying in breaks and, and whatever and so on, right? So... Other than that, I mean, you look at the rookies or the prospects that are on the on the verge of getting called up, and honestly, I, I really don't see that many next year. So I don't want to get too far into this topic because obviously we still have a ways to go till Series 1. Realistically, we're not going to get Series 1 information probably until around the week of Christmas or the week before Christmas or after Christmas, somewhere in that range, like December 15th through the 30th somewhere in that two-week time period but realistically realistically next year is really not looking that great for anything other than series one I mean I, I don't know I can't speculate on that I think Ethan Solace might get called up next year if he has a good spring training I could definitely see reality where he gets called up next year but again we'll have to wait and see um, but other than that, I really can't think of anyone who comes to mind, at least off the top of my head. So it's going to be very, very interesting to see what happens next year with, like, the base products. But to really wrap this video up here and to answer the question of the video, finally, to answer the question of the video, do I think they made update too good? The answer to that question is I think yes, because you look at Series 2 from this past, you know, this past year with the Juan Soto on the front, right? Series 2 really did not sell well. I mean, I still see blaster after blaster box, hanger after hanger box, and fat pack after fat pack of Series 2 everywhere. And I think that's because the checklist is really not that great. And that's a shame because last year, obviously, Series 2 was the best. This year, it really was not. Because at the end of the day... Those guys, I mentioned, the, the, the three Jacksons and Langford were all short prints. Now, if they were base cards, and then in return, they were, heh, 
ironically, you know, this this is what really is, is funny to me. Ironically, those guys were base cards in Chrome. I don't know how. I don't know how, how but for some reason, they were base cards in Chrome, but short prints in Series 2. And then, by the way, for my Pirates fans out there, they missed the Jared Jones who got called up on opening day as well. So Jared Jones wasn't even in the product in Series 2 at all. We had to wait till update to get his official, actually, well, Chrome technically, but to get his paper rookie card, we had to wait till update for some reason. So I don't know, man. Tops at the end of the day, it's it's really weird, but it's not even their fault. So I can't even blame them for this. It's actually on the MLB Players Association for the reason why we have, you know, one year you hold them out until update, one year, you put them in Series 2 when they get called up on opening day, and so on and so forth. So I don't know, man. I think next year, I think next year they'll probably put them in Series 2 again. That's just based off of the trends and what we have seen. But I don't know, man. I don't know. Hopefully, you know, what we really want at the end of the day, you have to spread them out evenly. You have to spread them out evenly. You have to look at Series 1. So Series 1, we know. Dylan Cruz and James Wood, clearly going to be the top two in the product. Clearly, right? And as for Series 2 and Update, who's to say? I, I just don't know. We don't know yet. We are so far away from spring training. We're like, what, a hundred and I think 15 days away from pitchers and catchers reporting. So we have a little ways to go. But uh, we'll have a, a feel, per se, of who's going to be in Series 2 as a rookie card, probably based off spring training performances. So that's really what I look at spring training for, to see what prospects are really doing well. Like, for example, Bubba Chandler, Pittsburgh Pirates pitcher. Remember that name. I'm telling you right now, if you have any Bubba Chandler cards, keep them. Remember the name because next year he's going to get called up and he is just as good as Paul Skeens. And really nobody knows about him, but I'm going to tell you right now, when he gets called up some point next year, might be opening day, who knows, when his rookie cards come out and his autographs, you're going to you're gonna hit the jackpot when you get an autograph. And I'm telling you, remember the name. But regardless... That's all I got for you. That's all I got for you in this video today, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. So before we open a pack of update, let me tell you about today's sponsor of the video. This video today is sponsored by SeatGeek. SeatGeek is the official ticket market of Major League Baseball. We have partnered up to deliver huge savings for you guys who watch my videos. So click the link down below and download the app today. Use my promo code GRIP and RIP. That is promo code GRIP and RIP at checkout to save $20 off your first purchase. So big thank you to SeatGeek for sponsoring this channel and this video. Now let's open a pack of updates. So here we go, man. Let's see what we have in store. This actually feels pretty heavy. So we actually might have our relic. I'm assuming it's a relic. I, I could be wrong. But I don't actually, never mind. I don't see any thick card in here, so never mind. But this pack felt a little heavier for some reason. But it looks like we just have a base pack. Huh. Uh, good old base pack. You know, we'll, we'll probably do two packs this video, actually. Because I hate doing two packs. But realistically, I mean, we have like, I would say 15 packs. No. Yeah, about 15 packs left or so. And Noelby Marte, who, I mean, he kind of tarnished his career since he took Royd. So that's you know, whatever on him, but, um, let's see here, we got really not much, actually, dang, this is by far, by far the worst pack of update we've opened so far, not any, let me do a double check in case I missed one, but we pulled the Noelvi Marte, but again, I really don't care too much about him, he really ruined his career with the steroid stuff, but, um, yeah, that was actually a kind of bad pack, so let's, Let's do another pack. Let's do another pack. I hate doing two packs, but here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. In a week, we got Alan and Ginter, which I am buying Alan and Ginter. I'm not going to be able to get it on day one because I'm actually going to the casino with my grandpa on that day, so I can't go to the card store, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to get it on Halloween. And then November 6th, we got Stadium Club. So um, we're going to be opening two packs sometimes a day just to, you know, make sure we actually, you know, get everything done we have a mystical. Look at that. We have a mystical. Hopefully, it's a Paul Skeens. How about that? That'd be pretty cool, right? So we have Evan Carter. Evan Carter. That's a good one. Um, Colin Ray, uh, Robbie Grossman. We got Daniel Vogelbach, pirate. Uh, Padres, bold bats arise, and we got 
Tatis. We got Adam Simber. This might be a parallel, by the way. I don't know. I, I Actually, I don't know. Are the Mysticals, are they all shiny like that? I don't know. I haven't opened one yet, obviously, in person, so I can't obviously tell. But uh, let's see. Let's see what we got. We got Tyler Black. We will just slow reveal it, I guess. It is oh, Aaron Otto, of course. I would have loved to have gotten a rookie of any kind because there's so many rookies. But oh, 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 we got our rookie. Never mind, we got a rookie. Never mind. Yeah, sorry, Nolan. I mean, you're cool and all. I know Knox were ups. I know you're looking at me right now saying, you know what? You're really throwing the Arenado card aside for Paul Skeens. Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am. I know my buddy Knox Rips is a Cardinals fan. So, uh, yeah, this is the card of the pack. Yeah, you see, you see. And then we got Trey Lipscomb. Yeah, see, that's the card of the pack right there. That's nice. That That's really nice. So, didn't have that. Didn't buy it on eBay. This card right now on eBay, believe it or not. Actually, well, for, for one, this is actually an insert, by the way. For one, this is actually an insert. It's not, a, it's, it's not actually a um base card you would think it's a base card just by looking at it just by looking at this you would say it's a base card but here's the thing look at the look at the number it's a actually a insert so yeah this card actually goes for about five to seven bucks right now so i said you know what i'm not buying that i'm gonna try to pull it and look we did so pretty cool at the end of the day i'm definitely leaving and top loading that one right now as soon as the video ends so either way guys thank you so much for watching let me know in the comments did tops make update too good would love to hear what you guys have to think and i'll see you guys in the next one